What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk to you about my million dollar morning routine. Okay, so over the years I've tweaked this time and time again. I'm always changing stuff up and trying to figure out what's more effective, what's more productive. I'm trying to adapt, I'm trying to get better. Every day, every single day I try to get just 1% better than I was the day before. That's my mantra. So I'm always doing this with my, my morning routine, trying to figure out what's better, how can I squeeze a little bit more out of it? Every single day I'm trying to think about how can I squeeze more out of it, but I feel like I'm in a really good routine right now. I'm pretty good momentum. I have a pretty good little little thing going on with my morning routine right at this time I wanted to share with you, and I've done plenty of morning routine videos, and if you go back and watch the older morning routine videos, you'll see each one I'm tweaking it and getting a little better as I go. And also I want to give you guys a book recommendation right now and that is The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. If you're one of these people who are really searching around to try to figure out a really good morning routine that probably means you're looking to live a better life, you're probably trying to be more successful, you're probably trying to do all kinds of incredible things in your life and I'm telling you right now The Slight Edge is the best book I ever read. I'm going to put a link in the description for you to go and buy this book and I really hope that you do because this one changed my life. Life. It was the only book that I actually read twice, and it's not on Audible. There's no audio book that I found anywhere for this. You literally have to read it, uh, you know, as a real book, which, you know, I don't know. I, I would think that not a lot of people do that anymore. Most people are listening to their books or maybe even reading them on Kindle or some kind of digital form, um, but this one, uh, you have to read it in its uh, original copy, but it's an incredibly inspiring book, and it will help you get into the routines that you need uh, to be successful. It will actually help you visualize the little things that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis now that's going to get you where you want to be in the next five to ten years because that's what it's all about. It's all about routines and it's all about what you're doing on a daily basis, the little things that compound over time. Also, I'll put a link in the description for my two books, Zero to Diamond and List to Last, and I'm working on a third book. And I'll be honest with you guys, writing is something that I'm really into. I don't get to do it a lot because I'm so busy as a full-time real estate agent and a real estate coach. I'm a speaker. I do a lot of these videos, podcasts, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. So I'm not to a place in my life where I can really 100% focus on writing. But I'll tell you right now, when I do get to that point, you're going to see book after book after book after book come out because I have so many incredible book ideas and I love to write, so be on the lookout for that as well. And if you guys want to get fired up and stay fired up, go to iconic.com backslash Ricky to get the best deals on motivational artwork, okay? You've seen these in some of my videos, you see other people that have them, you may have even bought some yourself. Go to iconic.com backslash Ricky to get the best deal on a motivational piece of art. Pick out what you think is that quote, that special piece piece of art that's really going to keep you in a very fired up state of mind. Order it, let them deliver it to you, put it up in your workspace and become inspired. Now let's talk about where I am with my morning routine currently. This is subject to change at any moment. I've been on this morning routine for quite a while, even through the pandemic. I stayed on this morning routine, even through having a child who is now seven months old. <laughs> Baby Whitley is growing so fast and she's so incredibly adorable. If you guys haven't seen pictures, you can see her on my Instagram or my Facebook. And my wife, Carlin, is just the most amazing mother in the world. I've never seen anything like it. I couldn't even imagine um, how this is all playing out. So um, I can't wait to, to really see how she blossoms into a beautiful young lady, so on and so forth. It's uh, the joys of life. But back to my morning routine. So I, I know you guys know this. You probably see it on my Instagram story every day, but I'm waking up still at 4.30 every morning. That's what time my alarm clock goes off. I get up. 
up, I get moving around, I take a picture of the coffee machine, time stamp it, uh, put it on my Instagram story, and I'm off to the races. So from there, from 4.30 to 5.30, I'm literally answering Instagram DMs, okay? I can't do it during the day, I'm too busy. So I do it between 4.30 and 5.30, I really get down and dirty in those DMs, it's going down in the DM, and I'm answering and helping you, okay? That's the best place to get me if you need something from me or just wanna say hi or reach me on a personal level, hit me on Instagram because I'm answering those DMs and especially if you have a problem or a question, that's what I'm here for and I really feel obligated to answer all of those questions because if I don't, then I feel like I'm literally turning the back my back on the market and I'm not standing up and doing what I'm sitting here telling you that I'm, I want to do and that I'm going to do, which is make the industry a better place and help reduce the failure rate in the industry. So that's what I'm doing between 4.30 and 5.30. If my daughter happens to wake up, I'm gonna feed her, I'm gonna put her back to bed, I'm gonna get my pre-workout drink and I'm gonna put, get my workout clothes on, I'm gonna start moving around, loosening up, stretching and getting ready for my workout. So I created and built and I'm still adding to uh, a gym in my home, right? I have two double car garages, so my second garage, half of it, I made it my gym, my in-house gym. I just walked to my garage I have a dip bar with a pull-up bar. Um, I've got weights. I've got a back extension machine, and I have all kinds of things that I'm adding to it that's, that's being delivered as we speak. And I'm going to continue kind of building little bit by little bit. Every time I feel like I, I want another machine or, or a different piece of equipment, I'm going to order it and just continue building that up to where it's, it's basically going to be a full gym. And I've really been enjoying that part of it since the quarantine, since the pandemic. Um, I switched everything thing to working out at my house and I've really enjoyed that so you know, I don't have to drive anywhere. Um, I'm here. Uh, I don't have to worry about everybody else or somebody on the machines or any of that stuff. I just get to work. So I'm jogging a lot now. I'm jogging more than I used to. Um, and I'm just, I'm enjoying this phase of my life really where, you know, I'm doing most everything from home. And even during the day, I'm still working mostly from home. You know, the pandemic is not over. The virus is still out there. There's still a lot of people scared. And, you know, we're seeing uh, uh, cases rise. Uh, a lot in some of the states right now currently but um, I'm still working at my house but a lot of people are back to work my uh, my assistants are at the office they're working I'm popping in from time to time I actually worked there for about an hour today um, but overall I'm working mostly at my house and I've really been enjoying that as well so Anyway, back to my morning routine, 4.30 to 5.30, I'm answering DMs. Then I start getting ready by six o'clock, I'm in my gym and I'm working out till seven o'clock, okay? And I'm hitting it as hard as possible as hard as possible. I don't, I, if I'm working out legs, I barely want to be able to walk back to my front door. If I'm working out shoulders, I don't want to be able to raise my arms when I'm walking back to my front door. I think you get the point. Every single part of my day, I want to give it my 110% and give it everything I got. And when I'm done with it, then I'm done. I don't have to look back and say, oh, you know, I didn't really finish that or I could have gave it a little more. No, I gave it all I had and that's done. We're moving on to the next thing. You know what I mean? So, so that's where I am, 4.30 to 5.30 DMs. I'm, at, I'm working out by six, seven o'clock, I come in, I walk my dogs, and then my wife, my beautiful wife, has breakfast made for me. <laughs> yes, I got scrambled eggs, I got oatmeal, I got my vitamins, I got my coffee. I'm ready to roll. That's, that's the same breakfast that I have every single morning. My wife says, how can you eat that every single morning? But I just absolutely, still love it. I mean, I, I am a creature of routines. Yeah, I am a creature of, you know, the same stuff and not really getting, you know, bored with certain things and breakfast just happens to be one of those things. Now, I can get bored in my career. I can start to get bored with selling 100 properties a year and decide, no, I want to start doing YouTube and coaching for free and all this stuff and speaking around the world. So I can get bored and want to venture out and challenge myself a little more. Um, but in terms of breakfast, I'm okay with eggs and oatmeal. 
From there, I'm gonna jump in the shower, I'm gonna get my clothes on, I'm gonna get ready to start working before eight o'clock, and then I'm off to the races. And you guys know this part. I'm gonna have a little meeting with myself, meditate about my business, I'm gonna make a list of everything I need to execute on for the day, I make sure I have all my ducks in a row, a nice little list, all my priorities, all my hot prospects, all the deals I'm negotiating, any appointments, I know exactly what I have to do, bam, 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 bam. I don't have to think anymore, now I just execute for the rest of the day. And that's what I do. I just absolutely boom, 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 take care of business. A lot of people say, how do you get so much done? It's because I make the list in the morning, right? And I look at this list, and if you looked at the list, you would think, oh my God, that's a lot of stuff, right? But if you have it organized on this list in front of you, and you just knock it out one after another after another, you can literally knock everything out in just a couple of seconds. This one takes a couple minutes. This is a 15 minute conversation. Boom, there's a little email. Bam, that part's done, da, da, da. Before you know it, you've accumulated so much productivity that it's just unreal. So that, that's one of the big secrets behind how I get so much done. I prioritize it in the morning. I have a list of what I, how I wanna execute, and then I take action. I don't think anymore. A lot of you are just thinking too much and not acting enough, right? Make the list and then take action. And I'll give you a little bonus tip. About three o'clock or so, I'm gonna have another little meeting with myself to make sure that there's not anything I need to do before the end of the day to make my day complete. A promise I made someone, uh, a phone call, an email, something I was supposed to look up and make sure I've taken care of everyone I can. I'm never gonna get to the complete end of my list. There's some things that are always gonna carry over till tomorrow, but you have to be okay with that. And at five o'clock, six o'clock, whenever you knock off, you need to completely shut down from work, shut your mind off, and be completely 100% focused with your family or whatever it is you do in the evenings. And that way your brain can recharge you got to shut it off from your work so that you can recharge that way the next day you're recharged and you're ready to operate at a high level and this is how you play at a very high level every single day consistently without getting burnout and then a lot of people ask me what time do you go to bed Ricky you know how do you get up at 4 30 every day I go to bed about 10 o'clock every night you know, somewhere in there, 9.30, 10 o'clock, somewhere in there, I'm in bed, we're watching TV, hanging out, go to sleep, wake up at 4.30, do it again, and again, and again, and again, for weeks, months, years, decades. That's the million dollar morning routine. I hope you guys start this. I hope you hope you try it. I hope it works for you. I hope you start to enjoy it. If you're not at the 430 club, you know, if you're at 6, 630, just try 30 minutes earlier for a week or two, then 30 minutes more earlier, all the way till you get to that 430. And I promise you, you're going to be more productive. You're going to be like, man, I get more done before seven o'clock than most people do all day long. And most people aren't even up yet. And that's when you're going to see your through the principles and the slight edge, that's when you're gonna see yourself start to soar. Okay, so this is what I hope for you. I wanna see you soar. Reach out if there's anything that I can do to help you. That's what I'm here for. Hit me up on Instagram. Much love, we'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go.